Uh, I think these are going to be scattered and disjointed and uh, kind of the way life is, I guess. Uh, maybe, let me see if I can, I'm either going to sit up closer, sit up taller, there we go, Dr. McKenzie, uh, of the odd things that, the synchronous odd things, uh, we got to this event and there was a man translating the event and he was a young monk and he's just written a book that was completely, uh, he's been on the Korean bestseller list for weeks now. Uh, I think the book it translated in English is called Enlightenment at an Early Age. And he sat with Subul, uh, this Zen master, and had an enlightenment. And so he's written about it. And he's becoming famous. So, of course, I teased him. I made fun of him for being famous and said, oh, there's that monk that's really famous over there. Look at him. And uh, when I shook his hand at the end to thank him for everything he'd done for us, I said, oh, I'll never wash this hand again. And he said, stop teasing me. And I thought, I can't. You're, you go to such states of delight, and it's so much fun, and it doesn't seem to really bother you. It just seems to delight your system, make your system more vital, happier. But this famous monk was translating for all of us, and it was cute because he would get to a place where he didn't know a word, right? how to translate from Korean to English, and his English was excellent. And at one point, he deferred to a man named Robert, who is a Zen monk. He's a Westerner. He went through this experience, so now he directly supports this experience. And it was fun to watch. He would say, Robert, how do I translate this word? And he would say one word, and Robert came up with the word. And I'm looking for the symbol of it. I'll, once I find it, I'll show you the symbol because it's it's quite a significant word in Korean. It's like the absolute one opening. Uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix it up. But we had this international monk translating for us, this completely national monk who's trying to go international, who's trying to work with intellectuals which may or may not work within the context of vitality and Zen and enhancing the human spirit. Uh, because I say that only because so many of the intellectuals got it. And you could see what got them stuck. The intellectuals and the monks got stuck. All right? The intellectuals got stuck on, can I trust him? Can I believe him? Does this fall within the context of everything that I've learned, everything that I've read, and everything that I think should be like this? And there was a young monk... Uh, he sat up in the front of the room and he said, every time I go to do what you tell me to do, I default to what I know to do. In other words, the, the instructions were, trust me, find the answer to this question. Right? Don't keep asking the question over and over again. Trust me, find the answer to the question. But this monk would go in and because he'd meditated for years and years and years and years and years, uh, he would default to what he thought he knew to do. And, and I don't know what the master said to him, but he said something significant. And I popped out to where I found me, which was really refreshing. And then I popped back in where I didn't exist anymore. It was really uncomfortable. And then I went back into the meditation hall and had some just tremendous experiences. But as I did, there was uh, involuntary, uncontrollable tears coming up and out of my system. And it, it was uncomfortable. I'm... I'm I, I don't mind crying, but I don't do it well in public. And, and I went into the room for some tea because it was just so confusing, so uncomfortable. And I'm sitting there crying, and this monk comes up and gives me a hug. And he spent, I, I said, I spent all day yesterday crying. I'm okay with it, in his language. And, and uh, so I'm going to keep trying to talk about this experience. Uh, if you've been searching, as I have for many, many years, there's a couple of ways to do it. Uh, this is definitely one of them. This man has something that is not normal, that's not of this, yeah, it must be of this planet, but um, if this is your lifetime, you will find him. But I really suggest that you do. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com reminds me, I better make a link there, huh? Have a fun day. Have a fun life. Have a fun several lives. Have a fun several past lives. Bye.